This is a demonstration of a time lock that was marketed through the Star Safe Company in California. It uses, however, two movements that are made by the Cromer Corporation from Germany. There are several versions of this lock, but what makes this one unique is the short-term indicator dial here and it is indicated through this long arrow here and is delineated by this sector dial here for one through four hours. This time lock was made in the 1960s perhaps early 70s. Now I'm going to demonstrate the um, indicator dial here and we're going to start winding it up to show how it works. Now nothing happens when the first uh, movement is wound because of course uh, the second movement is still engaging the uh, snubber bar here. But once one starts to wind the second movement, you can now see the indicator dial moving like so. And now it is up to four. And you can see that it is indeed at four at this point. Now this one is a little bit further wound uh, over because I overwound it, but it is the uh, lowest number dial that will be indicated uh, by this uh, um, um, sector dial here. And that feature, this short-term feature, is something that I have never seen on any of the other uh, models of this uh, time lock. And now the uh, time lock has the cover, uh, plastic cover put back on, secured by the four screws at each corner, and, as well as the a knob that goes uh, onto this area here. The purpose of that knob is to allow the operator to put the lock off guard even if the time locks have been wound. And we can see that demonstrated now because the time locks have uh, both been wound to a little bit uh, past four hours and if one uh, takes this knob and turns it like so you can see it now is moving the dial over and even though this dial is not exactly at zero that's kind of a little bit of a sloppiness to the dial here but it has now been put off guard and would stay that way permanently uh, until the uh, time locks are wound all the way to zero.